Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Madison. And I'm Kaza. Our first story. Who was afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today. Accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Connor with more. Far away jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with the destructions of the houses. How do you feel about these accusations? I am not happy with these accusations because it's just a hint of hay fever. You have been in court personating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? <coughs> not me, just some other wolf out there. What do you have to say for the good people of the faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous person? I'm not just a dangerous I'm not going to answer that question because I don't want him to incriminate himself any further. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for news of escaped kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. This story captured the hearts of the, na the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their new ordeal book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter Leah was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of the t of the terrible tale. Hello, I'm Leah, and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? Well, I am going to buy two mansions. One for Hansel and one for me. I'm going to buy a party room a pool and a gym. I'm going to spend all my money on millions of V-Bucks so I can have the coolest skins in Fortnite. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? I'm sucking it in right now, look, I'm bulging. And it isn't, wait, isn't it not nice to ask how people's stomachs are? Very sorry about that. What have you learned through this experience? I have learned to not trust old people. Like they say, oh hey kids, come. I've got lots of candy. I learned not to eat heaps of fast foods, meccas, BK and chicken. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a whisker. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of the album Joyce, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter Adele. Thanks, Maddie, and hello, everyone. I'm Adele here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast, and hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it going with you two? Absolutely horribly. It's like living in hell. This is news to me. I thought it was going amazing. So you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What is the reality of living with someone completely different to you? It's great, it's like having a personal maid sister. Well, I try to keep the house spick and spam, but he turns it into a zoo in no time. Personally, I think we should get a divorce. Your recent duet album did not sell well, and your fashion label has gone a bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Well, I'm going to cash out my entire bank account move to another country. Well, if she wants to leave, she can leave. I will start my own duet album by myself. We will, we will rock you. 
Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Adele. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Noah and Lucas, who will have the fairest weather of all this week. Wow. Oh. Well, there'll be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, low pops, and rainbows for everyone and everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark frost will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down to the green fields will be turn snow white overnight on the Wednesday. Wrap up warm. If you're living, if you are living in a house made of sticks, straw, or gingerbread, because there'll be feet, fire, foot, fish. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the work to to the working week for most of us. Back, Back to, to the, the news, news desk. desk. Thanks, no one, Lucas. Finally tonight, long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hair dryer. The result was a haircut so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's our reporter, Harry. Thank you. I'm out. I'm here outside court where the first day of the lawsuit has just finished. Here comes the princess Rapunzel and her stylist now. How did you react when you saw what happened to your hair? How do you think I reacted when I saw this? My life is ruined, my hair was everything. What do you have to say to the owner of the Sleeping Beauty Salon who ruined your hair, career and your reputation? I'm going to sue you for all of the money that I spent on my beautiful, beautiful hair. All the shampoo, the haircuts, the millions of dollars that I spent on good hair salons. What are you going to do about Rapunzel's hair? Can it be fixed? People always say there's only a couple of weeks between a good and a bad haircut. We could try this new technique I've been waiting to use on my clients for ages now. It's called super glue. I advise you to keep well away from this woman and perhaps you should think about finding a new career. Well, thank you for your time, everyone. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight, although we've just had word that the big bad wolf has just escaped jail since our interview. He's hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the oh, whole team there once, once upon a crime. Good, Good night. night.